Okay, part two, guys. Today is March 9th, 2017, and I'm at secretsun.blogspot.com. And down here, they have a thing on this, uh, the prop comes crashing down. And I hope it plays it, because when I was on here last time, there was a video that just popped up. And um, it led me to a couple things, so I'm hoping it'll do it. I don't know. I don't think it will. Okay, he's he's got a picture on here, guys. That looks like an eye with eyelashes and beings in the center there. Mm. Looks like the bride and groom looking on. Oh. Is this the opening of the veil where we actually see demons once we're gone? Okay, so in a... It says, in a rather dramatic fashion, Moonlight was crowned the best picture at 2017 Oscars. The Moonlight, guys, this is the eclipse, I know it. La La Land was originally announced as the winner in USA Today's network. So, you know, are they trying to tell us something? And look behind them. Does that, that look like a uh, rocket? Okay, this is uh, Secret Sun's video still here. He has a picture of the background of them and the rocket. I, I have to agree, something is about to happen. Notice the envelope is red. I thought they were always white, but hey, I don't watch this stuff, so I don't know. Okay, so I came to the Hebrew meaning of prop, and this is what came up. Okay, Hebrew Amon. And it says, Amon, I'm sorry if you can't read this, guys. This is the best I can do. Amon uh, Strong's 539 conveys the basic idea of providing stability and confidence to steady, to firm, and thus trustworthy. Amon speaks of certainty and thus can mean to confirm or affirm. Um, and it also means uh, some source consider the primary root meaning Amon to be a prop or to support um let me see what else does it say it says it's in second kings 218 uh, that helps a little bit huh but um i don't know sisters and brothers strong concordance number 11 for hebrew abaddon I was getting double 11s, and we know that America is going to get a double portion. 11-11 destruction. For three, freshness, blossoms. You know, a lot of us are having uh, things about flowers. I know I had a dream about flowers a couple times, and... Uh, Rhonda Empson has, and um, uh, Jesus Lives 444. I mean, a lot of people are having things about flowers and, and newness. I wonder if this is what he's talking about. Like when he talks about um, the spring. I didn't mean the spring. Uh, I was talking about the leaves coming forth when he's talking in, um, about the parable of the fig tree in Luke 21. If you notice that... Um, you have the widow offering up everything she has, like, you know. She Luke 21, guys, the 21st, the summer solstice. She's trying to give her last thing. And then you have um, down in verse 5, starting with verse 5, you have the temple is destroyed. And then you have the witnessing to all nations. Then you have destruction of Jerusalem. Okay, and I'm wondering, sisters and brothers, um, destruction of Jerusalem. That's the name of Jerusalem is the teaching of peace. This, they're trying to destroy the teaching of peace. Some of this isn't about to happen with uh, Jerusalem. You know, we got Trump standing, you know, looking like a pretty boy, but I believe he is, you know, our saving grace as far as he's standing up for America. You know, he's he's doing what he can, but is um, and at the same time, he's deceiving. And um, I believe that, you know, this is this is to deceive everybody who does not know the word of God. 
You know, it's he's looking like the pretty boy. He's doing everything that no one else could do. And he's about to be taken out. And I believe that's what the thing was with the girl getting hit in the head um, with the prop. I believe that um, that has something to do with it. I believe that it almost looks like he's about to be taken out. And the woman hit in the head, the head represents the chief of something. So he would be the chief of the United States. Obama is about to be brought back in. We know that the nations are stirred up. Um, it talks about that in the Bible, how there's, God stirs up the nations and brings them all against Israel. And all those who come against Israel uh, will, will be destroyed. They're going to they're gonna be stricken with uh, madness. Their horses will be struck with madness. And um, I, I believe this will be a great earthquake. Um, that will happen at this time. They will be uh, in confusion, and that's a perfect time for, you know, our nation to be taken care of, too. So, so I believe, you know, as many do, you know, I'm just bringing up that we are now, you know, at the uh, fig tree here. We're, we're, you know, ready to see Israel, something going to happen with her. Um, I just pray for them. I pray for them so much. And we know that... Okay, this is... Sorry. And we know that Israel represents, you know, God's people everywhere. So I pray you guys are blessed, and I pray that you're getting all these clues that the Lord was leading us to. I don't know if I said it. Today is July 18th, 2020.